in my years of research and even my years of working as a remote worker, what they pay is way above market rate. Way above. And I can only speak for Kenya. It is way above market rate. I remember I went from earning 160000 per month as a HR officer. That is gross. To earning $3,000 as net. This is like <laughs> half a million per month? Per month. Remotely? As net, yes. As net. Number one red flag is you cannot be hired on the spot. Remember, if it's so difficult to find a job in Kenya, put it into perspective globally. You know, just competing with Kenya, you've got people from everywhere sending in the applications. When you're asked to send in money for either equipment, they say they want to send you a laptop to your location, or you, you asked money for a training. Mm -mm, red flag number two. It should be the other way around. It's remote work. Does it mean they look for lesser skills? Or it's as competitive as it gets? It's very competitive. Remember I said no remote company will want to hire lesser skill. Um, they tend to hire top 10. And yes. the interview process lean is competitive and it's intense. So it's made that way so that they can sieve out you know, what the people that are willing to put in the work, mm -hmm. the people that are willing to learn and grow with them. As a contractor, what that means is that you forego all the rights that employees in Kenya have. So we're any contractor. Yes, uh, there are policies and procedures in place to make sure that, you know, you are supported whenever you need help. If you need training, if you need coaching, there's a proper onboarding. Yes. But Kidogo, you lose most. Atasi Kidogo, you lose most of your rights. Yeah. Hello and a warm welcome to LNS Rebuilding Series. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now, I started this year by saying this year we are honestly going to rebuild everything in our lives, uh, including our finances. And I know there's a, co a conversation that many people are interested in, but they do not get the details from the right person, remote working. I bumped on this amazing guest on TikTok and I was just looking at her and I was like, wait a minute, there's something like remote working. And also, what is this and how do people make money? You know, people are telling you, please be at the comfort of your home and make a thousand dollars. And I was even considering my options. I'm like, can I take as a, that as a side hustle? Because we need the money. But the way she does it and expresses herself uh, is what caught my attention. And I said, just like I brought you Anne to help us with employee theft, uh, let me look for her so that she can be able to come and talk to us uh, about this and maybe other opportunities that are out there that we do not know. So I'm about to let her introduce herself. But since we are talking about money, who else would be better to sponsor our today's conversation than Tap Tap Send? I have said if you're in diaspora and you're watching this show and you want to send money to your loved ones here back at home through M-Pesa or their bank account, why don't you try Tap Tap Send? And they give you very beautiful rates. And if you're sending money for the first time, you can use my code LEAN so that you can get 10% cash back on your first transaction. So watch any new LSA. Come only to me last week. That's not on your first time. First time means downloading the app and using it for the very first time. And you can also download download it. The link is pinned on the comment section. And also to say thank you guys for being amazing, amazing, beautiful supporters of our work. I love where we are heading. I love what 2024 is doing. And I hope by the end of this year, we all grow collectively. So I don't take your support for granted. Asante Nisana. And now without further ado, please allow me to let this gorgeous woman introduce herself. Hi. Hi, Lynn. You look amazing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. How and are you feeling? I am so honored to be here. Yeah. I am so grateful for you to have DM'd me and for us to be in this environment and yeah. just showcasing to the people what remote work is all about mm -hmm. and how more Africans, if not Kenyans, can actually get into remote work. At a see remote working, ni remote work. Ni remote work. <laughs> 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 yes, I want to get started, but before I do so, please introduce yourself. 
So, mm. Hi um, mm. to the followers of Lean. My name is Lorraine. I go under the brand name Beyond the Savannah. And under Beyond the Savannah, we are a company that showcases and showcases curated remote work opportunities, particularly those that are hiring in Africa, in the EMEA time zone, and those that are hiring worldwide. Okay. So yes, remote work is global. Yeah. Um, we currently have, I think, 16% of companies that are working that are fully remote. So that means they don't have any premises, any physical premises. So 16% of the global companies are working remotely. Really? Yes. They don't have like a HQ? They don't have an HQ. It's just um, your laptop and your Wi-Fi? Yes, and they've hired people across the globe and they're all working towards one mission, towards a vision. So um, what I usually let people know is a remote company is not different from any other physical company. The only difference is there is no physical offices. Mm. Yes. So when uh, when a physical company has assets like say vehicles or a building or an office space, the assets for a remote company are its people. Yes. And we're going to talk more about that. And you know that is actually. Um, the focus of remote work and how they treat their people. Mm -hmm. I think you've and not also where the money is. And where <laughs> the money is. Before we go any further, you look amazing, as I was uh, saying. Thank uh, you. Face care routine. <laughs> Me, sorry, guys. I gotta ask all the good things before face care routine. Face care. Being a person who suffered from a uh, teenage what acne. Thank you for that compliment. It's beautiful. Thank you. And thank, thank you, you so once much. again. You know, when I DM'd you, I didn't even think you would see my DM. So when I saw your reply, I was like, ah, when they say knock and the door shall be open, ask and it shall be given unto you. Uh -huh. Thank you, honestly. I've wanted to have this conversation. It's been a minute now because there are a lot of ways of making money online. Mm. And sometimes people end up in, you know, getting the wrong information or just mm. investing in the wrong places. Mm. But let me ask you, what's your background and mm -hmm. is this something you thought you would be giving advice on um to start with your question mm. i no i don't think never in my dreams did i ever think that i would be giving advice on remote work so my background i have actually done an accounting degree mm -hmm. from usiu wow. i also did my masters in hr uh, how I landed actually in HR was after doing my degree in accounting, then you go for internship, yeah? Mm -hmm. And during those three months, I cannot say where I did my internship, but yeah, I was just there um, with the computer and just cranking numbers. And I was like, this is not for you, Lorraine. You'll be so miserable in this career. So yes, it took me three years plus an internship period for me to realize that accounting was not for me. And that was even after I'd done my CPAs up to level three. Um, so immediately after graduating with my accounting degree, I immediately enrolled for HR and I started my first role as a graduate trainee for a company called Mabati Rolling Mills. Wow. Okay. Okay. Do Mabati, do <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, and that was in 2015. Yeah. And I think I have to shout out my first manager because why it not for Mr. Marara who took a chance on me? I don't think I'd be here right now or perhaps my journey would have been different. But yeah, I joined Mabati Rolling Mills in 2015, July as yes. a graduate trainee under HR. And I worked with them for a period of six years. I think a little bit over six years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, I was, you know, at that stage I was like, uh, Lorraine, what I could do, retire half know that it's wrong. Yes, but <laughs> we gotta move sometimes. But yeah, you have to. You have to see. Like I felt like there was so much more that I w I could give, and um, yeah. So that is what I sought out. So it mm. was at that period. I remember it correctly because it was in the last quarter of 2021 when I just started sending out applications. And you know, after kazi, after kazi ni kazi on yeah? Yes. So na tuma kazi, na tuma application, na tuma application, na pata regrets. <laughs> after regrets. Regrets after regrets. So you know, pata interview, but then you don't move further. Yes. And then um, <clears throat> one night I was on TikTok and, you know, just scrolling away. And then on my For You page, I see remote work. Um, by this amazing content creator, but she's not African, so she is in the Latin time zone. Yes. And um, you know how you save um, what? Favorite. Yeah, favorite. Yes. Yes. Clicked on favorite. The next day, 
uh, while in the office fanya nini to my application i sent it out and they got back to me i think after three days and that's how we started so i started um, my application process with superside which was my very first remote company and yes i got it through tiktok and just the overall vibe of the interview process was mm, amazing i felt like i was talking to a friend i didn't feel like i was in an interview uh, my hiring manager was so professional and they made me feel so calm yes it was a lot of work because i i went through five rounds of interviews before i was finally told that i got the job mm -hmm. and it was intense it was research after research unaingia interview na mbua uko na case study una tengeneza powerpoint you've got to present and then even had to meet with like with the vp of uh, people not connect people not hr yes. the vp of people and yeah finally i landed the job okay. at superside superside uh, yes now this is the most important point for me you are scrolling on tiktok yes. and you see a company yes. that is not in kenya mm -hmm. is hiring yes they were hiring you as who they were hiring the position the position was a senior people care specialist okay which in kenyan uh, market is like a hrbp good yes this is for an entirely different country yes and you apply i apply and someone gets your application mm -hmm. and they reach out to you mm -hmm. and now they are going to give you a job yes <laughs> So you are not like are you in America are you in UK because it's remote so yes. don't they have like headquarters yes i know we don't have offices but this is our base mm -hmm. or how did that work i was very skeptical to mm -hmm. to begin with i'm going to be very honest because that was in what 2021 late of 2021 um so but i think the overall vibe in the interview process made it feel like it was so genuine and at that stage you know we were just coming off covid right and yes. so there was remote work was not like a very new concept but a fully remote global company that was a shocker um and i think what made me really comfortable and what made me hand in my resignation letter to mabati then was the conversation that i had with one of their employees and i usually tell her that you know she is the reason why i actually joined because had she not uh made my mind at peace i would not have handed in my resignation mm -hmm. letter so what i did was i went over to linkedin and this is you tell people you need to have a linkedin profile i went over to linkedin searched the company uh found they currently they had two people working in kenya reached out to them and yeah they agreed to get into a conversation with me and they confirmed my not fears but yeah they made me Uh, comfortable and easing up and mm -hmm. you know be confident in handing over my resignation letter because remember my batch is like i was it's good it's good it's good it's and, good. I was, <laughs> rolling like it's it's good. and i was uh, a permanent and pensionable employee for six years so it was leaving that and then going to this other environment that is crazy it's so versatile anything can happen so yeah i'm really glad that i had that conversation with candy okay yes. Ke that, hi candy <laughs> i love that so first things first these jobs exist they do exist that's not like it's only oh, they exist they are they out do. there yes they are so out where there. are we finding them so like with every good thing there are genuine jobs but they're also scam jobs yes so you really need to be careful navigating the market i usually tell people um yes you can use linkedin um you can use upwork if you so wish to but i advise people not to use upwork and you know other sites instead use um remote job sites that regularly post remote jobs mm -hmm. and somehow they've done like a background check on those on those um applications that are coming in or those adverts that are coming in so the number one um site would be ours very own yes <laughs> yes beyond the savanna.co.ke we regularly post remote jobs on there but you can also check we work remotely or you can check workingnomads.com there's also just remote yeah just remote.co yes. or um remote.co now when you're getting onto those websites there are things that you need to check so that you don't waste your time mm -hmm. things like time zones so in the remote world time zones have been i think 
vaguely categorized into five different time zones. There is the Americas, there is LATAM, there is APAC, there is EMEA, and then there is worldwide or global. So as an African, or if you're looking to work anywhere in the world whether you want to work on the beach from your home you should look out on emea time zones which is um europe middle east and africa mm -hmm. time zones mm -hmm. or worldwide or global avoid the americas because americans is basically they're looking to hire people from um north america or the us right or panama then uh latam is latin american countries so they're looking to hire people from uh, Brazil, Colombia, etc. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes to APAC, it is um, Asian Pacific. So they're looking to hire people from India, Samoa, etc. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to be sending out your applications for those other three applications because you will automatically receive, receive a rejection. Yes. So what you want to focus on is the EMEA time zone and worldwide mm. or global. Yes. Yes. Avoid Americas. Avoid Americas. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're Don't waste your time. All <laughs> out to we are all of us, my people. We are learning this one. So just avoid. Avoid. You can avoid that. Mm. So let me go back. I uh, using your application as a case study. Yes. So how do how do I know mm -hmm. this is a genuine company mm -hmm. reaching out mm -hmm. to me? Mm -hmm. And is there a red flag when a company says to apply, mm -hmm. give us this money mm. or we are charging this much for application mm -hmm. where are the red flags mm -hmm. during application and how do i know mm -hmm. apart from researching mm -hmm. this is a red flag right here mm. so when you tell people number one red flag is you cannot be hired on the spot remember if it's so difficult to find a job in kenya put it into perspective globally you know, just competing with Kenya, you've got people from everywhere sending in the applications. Yes, you get hired because of your uh, unique experience, but let's maybe go through an interview, number one. Mm -hmm. And the interview is rigorous and intense. So if you're not willing to put in the work, I usually advise people, I usually ask people, why do you want to join? Why do you want to work remotely? If your why is not there, yes. you're going to utakufa more your katikati because they put you through a lot. And the reason why they do that is because they want to hire top, 10 percent huh? top 10 talent yes globally so yes th that is red flag number one when you're hired on the spot number two when you're asked to send in money for either equipment they say they want to send you a laptop to your location or you you asked money for a training mm -mm, red flag number two it should be the other way around you should not pay to get hired they need your services they need to pay you for you to deliver your services which brings me to point number three um, you can not only get robbed of money, but you can also get robbed of your time and your and your um, expertise. So there's some companies that um, instead of giving you a salary, they let you know that, hey, you can come work with us and then um, in exchange we'll give you stock in our company. Hey. Which uh, I'm not willing to work for free. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. This is a startup. Yeah. And yes, if it was an existing company that I know where it's going to, kuna, you know, chances that Nenda an IPO in the near future, then maybe you can take a gamble. But for you to give your services free for the name of a stock in a company, please don't. Yes. That is a red flag. Mm -hmm. um, red flag number four is when you look at the job advert and it has spelling mistakes. Another red flag. For real? Yes. Mtuwa <laughs> And the reason why I'm too is because remember I told you for remote companies what they have is their reputation, is their branding. And most of these remote companies actually hire employee employer branders. So um, there's a department called employee employer branding. Yes. And they do hire people to be in that department to avoid having such. Because, yeah, it's whatever you give out there. Remember, they don't have a physical office that you can go and knock like, hey, because you go. Yes. So they do have to take their reputation seriously. So if there is um, mis spelling errors, grammatical errors in the job advert, another red flag. Bye. Bye. Just don't send. Um, the other thing also, during your communications, if you don't get to see a person face to face, yeah, that is also another red flag. You know, you're going to be sent... Um, 
a link or you you sent a case study then on a type on a tumor your um, responses and then you're told here you've got a remote job and um, that is also another red flag mm -hmm. then my very last red flag is if the communications is coming from at gmail.com please be wary i know i know i use at gmail.com but we are a very small company yes. but <laughs> this is my reasoning mm -hmm. if this is a fully global remote company with say 60 70 employees and most of these um, most of these startups have actually secured funding um there is no reason why they should have an at gmail mm -hmm. they should have an at the company name dot com dot com so yeah. at least they need to have a domain they need to have a domain okay yes i love that so are we saying mm -hmm. remote work is mainly for startups most of the time Yes, the number of, um, in terms of the numbers of applications that we're seeing or openings that we're seeing, they mostly come from startups. But that doesn't mean that, you know, a company say like Mural or Clipboard Health is not as, is, is a complete startup. No. Um, yeah, you can also find fully fledged companies that are not startups that are fully, that have converted to be fully remote companies. But, what I'm saying is that the number of opportunities that you get that are coming up from startups mm -hmm. is quite high. It's high. Yes. 16%. percent Sixteen percent. a lot. It Jeez. is. So we'll just be approaching 20% and then that percent. And then by the time you realize 50% of places or industries are just remote work. Why yes. are people preferring that? Why the high rise in number, the percentage? In the percentage. Um, I think it has to do with the flexibility. As a remote worker myself, um, the flexible work schedule, you know, you get to wake up, uh, you know, these are your duties, you focus on producing results rather than the how, yes. hakuna office politics because I'm pitani pitani na watu, um, and you just focused on the results and not to add that you get to earn in foreign currency mm -hmm. as a Kenyan or wherever you'll be earning or yeah. wherever you are in Africa, right? And then the other benefit is, you know, you get to work from anywhere. They don't restrict you. Um, so long as, again, they are very focused on you producing the results. The reason why you're hired is to do a particular job. And if you can deliver that particular, if you can deliver your deliverables, then you're good. Um, how you're going to do that, whether you're going to do it during your night, during your day, no one really cares as long as you're able to meet your deliverables. Yeah. And I think that is what is driving most um, young people to get onto remote work. Because when you look at the statistics, um, between 25 to 34, that is the age that most people are actually, you know, trying to um explore remote work and i think the reason is because either they're in their first job or second job and they want to explore the world like what is there what else is there um i think that is also what pushed me like what else can i do with my life like with my career uh, yeah mm -hmm. so yeah enough uh, work-life balance work-life balance um and they do actually i can speak from super Side's perspective um <clears throat> Part of why we were hired was to take care of the employees. So if you needed anything, you could reach out to your HR. You reach out to us, you talk to us, you let us know how you're feeling. Things like um, employee well-being, things like work-life balance are super important to remote companies because like I mentioned, their top most valued assets are what? The employees. So if they're not able to take care of them, it means that as an employee, you're not able to work productively efficiently mm -hmm. and that means whatever it is that you're producing the quality is going to be affected so i never i don't think in my entire employment life i felt valued as an employee as much as i did when i was working remotely does it mean though because sometimes people would be like it's remote work does it mean they look for lesser skills or it's as competitive as it gets it's very competitive remember i said no remote company will want to hire lesser skill. Um, they tend to hire top 10. And the interview process lean is competitive and it's intense. So it's made that way so that they can sieve out, you know, what the people that are willing to put in the work, mm -hmm. the people that are willing to learn and grow with them. 
because the reality is remote environment is ever changing it is fast paced so if you don't have an agile mindset if you don't have the mindset that you know you're always willing to learn and grow and try out new stuff you're not going to make it how do you deal with the culture uh, shock because sometimes you are working with people who are not kenyan how do you <laughs> deal with yeah. handling different people mm. from different countries who have different cultures mm. now um some companies particularly like i would speak from my company yes. and you get to hear like dei specialist or dei this dei this and dei is diversity equity and inclusion mm. and i was actually hired to be a dei specialist oh, as well so. congratulations <laughs> congratulations thank you that was a completely new field and that is what actually took the role because yes. in kenya dei i came to know what dei mean i didn't know what dei was and so i was enjoying leona kwa deep kwa deep and you either sink or you swim yes. and i swam good but <laughs> good uh -huh. so what you find dei is a very important metrics in the remote world because they need to hire um things like you get to hear things like people of color multiculturalism yes. black people so they um in a remote setup you get to work with people from different com different countries different continents and like you said we all communicate differently we all react to stuff differently in terms of hierarchy it's different um i know i struggle a little bit with that but in a proper remote company they will provide you with the trainings they will give you a soft landing as part of their as part of our wow. onboarding hey. so they will train you Um I remember when I was working for Superside we did an inclusion workshop and that rain um I think twice in a year and what that does just to teach you like we are different yes we might look the same we've got the same anatomy but we are clearly very different and our cultures impact how we communicate and how we collaborate with each other mm. so we need to grant each other grace and they are aware of that so usikuwe na hofu like when you're getting then like stressed um just one thing that you know when you get on there is have a learning mindset and have that mindset that you're willing to learn and grow mm -hmm. as well as be accommodating of each other's um different cultures mm -hmm. yeah because it's not everything that you know is right yes. you know you only know that your mother is not a really good cook once you start mm. <laughs> eating other people's good, food good, right good. so yeah mm. um yeah okay how are the working hours do you do like eight to five or this is the work we've given you mm -hmm. then they give you the deadlines mm -hmm. now figure out how you are going to work around it um that is different from company to company yes however uh most remote companies will want you to work during your day because like i mentioned employee well-being employee welfare work life balance are things that are really mm -hmm. key to them and they're really important metrics mm -hmm. to them so they will want you to work during your day whether it's 8 to 5 or you want to work 11 to 8 pm like i used to do um as long as you get to work during a day however in some adverts you will find they're very specific they want you to work at least a few hours in the in the pacific time zone because meetings are held most of the time during you know that time but it's all flexible working hours and you get to choose your own working hours i think that is the beauty of working remotely mm -hmm. that the power is given to you you can decide whether you want to work from 12 to i don't know what time or you can decide to continue with your 9 to 5 or work during your night okay yeah. now apart from the diversity give me three key differences you experienced when working you know remotely and mm -hmm. working the normal easy way to zakawaida yes oh um one feeling valued not that i was not that i didn't feel valued when i was working on site yes but there's a different type of company culture that is propagated in in the remote setup because like i said your your they you your employees mm. are your most valued asset so i felt like whenever i was stuck i could reach out to my manager and i would get the support needed i would get mentored i would get coached whenever i got stuck and those are the things that you know really propagate your career growth and i felt like i was supported in my career growth mm. whether i wanted to branch into this yes. or i wanted to branch into that mm -hmm. and you actually listened to the thing that you called um one on one meetings that used to happen once a week come rain come sunshine you would meet with the manager once a week and just discuss how's your week been so far what are the things you're looking forward to 
how can they help you are you facing any struggles any any Mm-hmm. any hurdles yes. and how can you overcome <clears throat> that and once a quarter then i would meet like, like the overall um vp of people and you get to discuss oh what do you want to do how do you feel about the company anything that can be changed mm-hmm. and actually felt like your voice is hard in a company mm-hmm. so not to say that you know uku kwingine it's not like that but you feel really Kuna valued kuna ka soft life you come hali You f- you really feel like you know your actions are impacting yeah. the company yeah. and that gives you some sense of purpose. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two. Two. Um what is two? Unamka sanyo unajisikia. Unamka sanyo unajisikia. You can decide hakuna traffic by that is oh lord that is really important. Um hakuna traffic unamka Mimi in my dera ni hivi tu I was coming to your show but we see you on TikTok <laughs> Most of the time ni Mimi and my dera and you go hapo unatoka bedroom unaoga you come and you open your computer and you start working So I think it's the flexibility that is really alluring um for most people to get into remote work because okay. always niambia kama unafanya kazi on site utatoka saa sita uende and then once you finish kazi saa tatu ya usiku no, you finish your job it's 8 to 5 it's 8 to 5 yes and also zingine lunch hour is prescribed hapo one hour yes yeah so it's the flexibility and for you me. save a lot of time of and course you save a lot of time it's very time saving yes. would you say you are you are more productive as a remote worker or as the easy zingine on site oh how is the productivity like i won't even say 100% i never thought i would work as much as i did when i was working remotely <laughs> you know it's all yeah you get to work from here you get to do this all the benefits but we still ufanya kazi so if you don't have the discipline to just commit and you know do the work and engross yourself completely in the yes. work you're going to get caught and uh, yes what we, in some companies they've got things like pip performance improvement plans yes. in some companies they don't because remember most companies will hire you as a contractor So when you fail to meet your obligations one two three times uko uko nje yeah uko nje as quickly as you got in mm-hmm. so yeah how um, do how then how do i know i'll get my money at the end of the month or do they start me with an advance cuz naweza kufanyia kazi for one month alafu ni toke nitakutoa wapi you know true alafu mfunge you know like ama you tell us you you sweet talk us the first month you pay and then oh we experiencing some delays sending money to your country mm. then muni talker okay, what do i do i know i know and sometime in 2022 yes end of 2021 coming in 2022 remote work um experienced a lot of layoffs so layoff is a real thing remember i told you na chaka permanent and pensionable na ingia completely risky yes. environment so layo- layoffs are a really uh, possibility mm-hmm. but when you're getting in um i think that's why i said mtu kiko offer stock immediate red flag yeah you need to be offered money and um when you get in you do sign a contract unaambiwa we're going to pay you either using wise pioneer or um paypal yes. they do have uh, systems in place that you know they use to send you your money mm. and you get to choose whether you want to earn in kenya shillings or if you're in kenya or in dollars if you know the company is paying in dollars yes. or in whatever foreign currency um your patia whether you get paid mm. wanna sweet talk mm. i guess that just has to go with the risks the risks and you do need to just trust that you know you've got a good deal mm. and manifesting just speak positive words ukiingia huko ndani good yeah. but how strong are the contracts do wapo contract mimi ukinikosea na kusuu wapi cuz maybe yes. yes where do i sue like how strong are the contracts and that's why most remote companies will hire you as a contractor because you being hired as an employee without them having a physical um shop or a company in for example Kenya uh kwa kusu you're neither here nor there yes yeah and that is one thing that most people need to understand so as a contractor what that means is that you forgo all the rights that employees in Kenya have so we're a contractor yes 
there are policies and procedures in place to make sure that you know you are supported whenever you need help if you need training if you need coaching there is a proper onboarding yes. but kidogo you lose most atasi kidogo you lose most of your rights yeah. so yeah so, and the reason why they give you the hire as a contractor is because no one really wants to deal with all the employment the laws and the legalities of CG 60 or 70 companies countries sorry mm. um yeah so hapo endo kijua risks ni gani basi yeah so those are two of the risks kabisa yes unaweza enda na pesa yangu and your contract and your contract i'm 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 giving out like i'm losing or like majority of my rights the other yes. employees have yes. but uh, the most important question how is the money <laughs> So <laughs> with uh, great risks comes great rewards yes. isn't it so um i don't think in my years of research and even in my years of working as a remote worker uh what they pay is way above market rate way above and i can only speak for kenya it is way above market rate i remember i went from earning mm, cannot tell the amount ah, but lazima to join the risk if they are worth it mm-hmm. but I, I i went from earning mm. a guy and my employer was really good because the other benefits were amazing yes but i went from earning 160000 per month as a hr officer that is gross to earning $3000 as net Month. <laughs> yes. Month. yes. Yes. And please do not come for me. I'm not rich. No, you, you could so just... this is like half a million per month. Per month. Remotely. As net. Yes. As net. As net. Does it come with other benefits? It does not come with other benefits because you are a contractor. Mm. So we are saying the money is good like the, generally the money is good. Generally the money is good. Um in my company people like say data clerks or data yeah data clerks or data entry analysts mm-hmm. would get um entry level was anything between 500 to say like a thousand now you need to me akona sema form 4 now mendo kafanya like a short course on data analyst or data entry then you manage to get in so yeah the money the money is good and like i said they pay way above okay market rate okay i love that that you've mentioned mm-hmm. so if for remote work cuz i know we can't farm No. you can't do farming Mm-mm. you can't do nini yes. there you know so what are some of the key skills they are looking mm-hmm. ama jobs is iko wapi tuanze kutafuta side gani mm. what are the top uh, nini top. Mm. so we've got of course kina uh, computer science software programmers cloud computers cyber securities the tech ones mm-hmm. yeah those are obviously there mm-hmm. for obvious reasons yes. like product product managers and all that but with every and this is my reasoning as a startup you've you've decided this is a product or service that you're offering is going to offer the world right that you're putting in the market yes the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that your product or service is actually working mm. then the next thing that you need is people to sell this product or service so you need opportunity number one, sales people marketers jobs yes. go kadha yes after that ni people to take once you get your customers once you get your once you get your customers in you need people to take care of your customers to make them feel that you know they're valued that you know they're important to you the issues are addressed job number two, customer support or customer service ziko in plenty once you've gotten your employee base you need people to take care of your employees so hr or people njo hiyo iko hapo so Um gone are the days where you know it was just tech jobs that are available even the business supporting functions are now in plenty mm-hmm. which means laptop strong wifi yes. those are things that you really need to you need to, yes yes and you cannot do like it's a fully fledged job so it's not yes kuna you know kuna there are freelancers mm-hmm. and all that but you cannot do a fully remote job with just your phone bila laptop bila wifi it's so good to apo yes kuna vitu kama like chat moderators that you know you probably just need your phone but that is not what um we're trying to preach or that is not what i do so i do full time remote jobs and that needs you having your laptop f- wifi an office space a quiet space 
and for you to be able to be productive. Okay. Yeah. And you seem like someone who sees an opportunity and risks and moves on to the other opportunity. How how do you know it's time for me to move on? How do you know it's time for me to leave this and go to the next stage of life career wise? Mm. <clears throat> when you no longer feel fulfilled when you're doing whatever it is that you're doing. When you wake up in the morning and rather than being nenda kazi like <sighs> Again. <laughs> yes. <coughs> Sorry. I know people what on a smaga Monday blues. I don't have a Monday blue anymore. Because I'm like, yay, I'm going to work. Um, but yes, um, when you feel like when you no longer find joy or you know happiness in what you do, then I think it's time for you to move on. To move on. Yes. So beyond savannah, beyond the, the savanna. <laughs> so did you finish then your contract and then you decided now let me finally do this and mm -hmm. how is it going and what do you do there? Mm. So actually when I first started Beyond the Savannah, it wasn't even supposed to be like a HR uh, consulting firm. I was, it was me deciding, eh, Manze, I want to travel and I want to shoot traveling content. I love cooking. I can also do that. Hence, beyond the savannah, yeah? Other than just people coming tomorrow. Yes. And I think two, three months down, I was like, hey, okay. This is not becoming a chore. Yeah. It's no longer being enjoyable. So how then can I pivot? And, you know, it came to me, you're a remote worker, you're in HR, you love talking to people. Yeah. Um, why don't you share the knowledge that you have? Because... When I was in Superside and we were trying to get more people of color, um, yeah, more people of color, more Africans into the workspace, we found it really difficult because we didn't know where to find these people. Now, granted, job posts are only done on LinkedIn, but not every top talent is going to be on LinkedIn. And it got me thinking, it could be one that people don't know that these jobs are available, mm -hmm. that these opportunities are available. Mm -hmm. And that it is attainable. Yes. Because even when you go on TikTok, so easy and you just scroll remote work, either you'll find someone when you're or, you know, yes. color, no, someone like me, yeah. you know, on true there. True story, true yeah, story. So it was that, that is what then drove me to pivot into remote work and just showcase it and show people that, you know, isn't your kazi. I cannot do CGE all the million jobs that are out there. So there's no need of me gatekeeping because yes. I mean it's a moja. Yes. And I'm not even, you know, my mind is not even there. Mm. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's so what So in job. Beyond the Savannah, you showcase the job. Why don't you start? Why don't you be the, you know? In between us. Yes. <laughs> so that if people are looking for remote workers in Kenya, mm -hmm. you have a pool that we is, pool. you know, and you can always... Yeah. I mean, do to This is, we are what? Barely two months in. Hey, congratulations. Thank That's you. a good step. You survived six and you're good. <laughs> you survived six months and you're, you're good. good. You know that? Yeah. Yes. So, so mm -hmm. this is our second month in. Hopefully, maybe we'll get there. But as at now, we're just more focused on, you know, pushing the opportunities in Kwambia. This is what is available. This is, and it is attainable because I have worked there and I know what employers are looking for. Mm. I can help you create a CV that will make you stand out in the remote workspace and help you um, at least increase your chances of landing a remote job. Yeah, yeah I believe that's very yeah. like a lot of, you know, even after this show, many people will reach out to you like, hey, Lorraine, could you please help me curate a CV, this and this. Like, I believe the opportunity is very huge for you out there rather than, because okay. you see, you're not gatekeeping. And if mm -hmm. it's 16% of the, like, it's a lot. It's a lot. We could be even looking for like 100 Kenyans per day. What business do you have gatekeeping <laughs> opportunities for I people? Yeah. But how are Kenyans receiving in this information i think they're receiving it um positively positively i must say yeah um and one thing i love about kenyans is that you know they're always willing to try yes when to try the next new thing mm. but i like to tell people that there is a clear difference between a fully remote opportunity or a fully remote job and a freelance so Okay, when you're coming or when you're seeking out opportunities, like I mentioned, a fully remote opportunity is no different from a nine to five, only that you get to work from anywhere, right? So for you to say that you want to work yes. two jobs, 
your 9 to 5 and then ukuje upate remote opportunity it's kidogo difficult and i don't even advise people to do that so you need to be fully invested you know you need to be fully invested into doing remote work or you do your um, 9 to 5 and then you look for freelance yes. opportunities there's yeah. a huge difference there's right a there. huge difference there's yeah. a huge difference and trust me you get caught let me ask you something from a hr's perspective because okay. mm -hmm. you hire and fire so when do i know i'm about to get fired in a company <laughs> This is like off topic, but I had to ask, like, when do I know I'm about to get fired? Um, number one indicator ni, unona kazi naanza kutolewa tu from chini chini. Like, you had, you had this wide scope. And then kidogo kidogo and you know, we are restructuring, so let's take this and this and let you focus on that. That is number one. Um, kidogo kidogo kiona if, you know, your manager was heavily invested in your growth and talking about, mm -hmm. oh, where do you want to be the next year? What trainings do you want to do? What opportunities do you want to? And kido kido go those conversations haziko. Na tolewa tolewa. Na ni kama I suppose the manager yuko on my case. Yes. Or many pay a piece. On pay a piece. The boss will say peace out. Yes. So just be careful. Um. What else? And you know whether you are sometimes it could be that you are underperforming. Umeko under PIP. Yeah, especially PIP. PAP, yes, ni ya ku, you know, make you improve your performance. But if you don't go in with the same mentality that I want to, this is my last shot. I want to show you that I'm here and I can do this. Just know it's also your way out. Yeah. So now you fully, you fully uh, resigned from the uh, super sites? Yes. Ah. I <laughs> So now we're not getting our two money. <laughs> yeah, now, now, yes, yes. And um, now we're not getting our money. We're mm. not getting our dollars. Uh, but my reasons for that is, remember I told you about our work-life balance? Yes. And you need to be fully immersed in it. I think for me, it, mm. for me, it got to a point where um, I had to choose whether I was going to be there for my family, or not because trust me i used to work remotely but i would spend two days not seeing my son and i could not nico headphones i'm busy i'm in a meeting and he knew and i could not chungulia and i talk and i could not chungulia and i talk so yeah it, it got to a point where i was emotionally and physically drained and that's mm. why i decided to try beyond the savannah it's gonna be amazing yes. because there's a huge gap i hope you see it because i know remote work now is becoming a thing yeah. and so many young people you said the age bracket is 25 to 34, to 34 yeah yes. that those are a lot of people who yeah. are really ripe for these jobs and these skills and yeah. they just need the right person to be able to guide them mm -hmm. and i know beyond the savannah is actually going to be the thing Thank you like so that, much. I mean, <laughs> after remote work, I'll be like, end up curating your CV for beyond the savannah mkit after uko pamo. Pamoja, yes. but also put a cost to these things because I feel sometimes when you give, you are not gatekeeping, mm -hmm. but I also feel sometimes when people know there is a cost to something, mm -hmm. they take it more seriously. Mm. So someone wouldn't be like, niandiki a CV. Mm -hmm. People need to know you are committing your time. Yes. Well, and time is money. Time is money. Time, that's one thing, currency. that's one aspect <laughs> that will never change. Yeah. But time is money. But thank you for walking us through. But did I leave? I said I was going to handle this conversation like a baby. Mm -hmm. So did we leave out anything that we need to tackle right now? Um, let me see. No. For real? No, no. Um, just one thing. Yes. Whenever you're sending out your applications, they always ask you to send in, to attach your CV and a LinkedIn profile. So when you have a LinkedIn profile, it's please time. create one. It's time for you to create one. I usually say there's no need for you to have a TikTok account, Instagram account, and you don't have a LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn profile is your digital business card. Whether you are a student, whether you are an entrepreneur, please create one. Mm. And especially for the students, when you are, I'm sure atakuja kwa DM or Lisa, yes, yes. Um, <clears throat> Unfortunately, the graduate trainee programs in remote opportunities, Zico, but has Zico Mingi, same with internship opportunities. But I usually advise, where Okohapo as a student, in your free time, Tafuta internship opportunity, that counts as part of experience. Yes. So that, you know, whenever you okay, graduate, sit in the Sokona, zero years of experience, at least you have something to work with. Good.
on your free time your get free something, time. To, get something do. to do it's not that easy <laughs> <laughs> see hakuna cha raisi hakuna cha raisi yes but i just like you are so easy to talk to lorraine oh. like i feel now if i had a hr like you sijui <laughs> tungekuwa when i was employed mm-hmm. doing ningekuwa like Ngekua bad mali. sana like true story <laughs> like the, your people skills and people don't know but there we had like mic issues throughout the shows and she just stayed calm and she's just like you know oh. calm and collected i honestly like honestly i saw a lot in you and i can only wish you the best and beyond the savanna and also if you want to come talk to us about other things yeah. it's only now i noticed we have a gap people got to learn about these things on the show as well cuz mm-hmm. we want to listen to life stories yes. but we got to grow our careers so if there's also another topic you would want to come and talk to us about or guys you feel like there's something Lorraine could help us navigate on the show let me know on the comment section i know her right now on the first name basis i have have her number and I'll just call you to come and help us with this conversations because I also feel like HR mm-hmm. is also another thing. Yes. You know there is mm-hmm. a the, you know there's a reason why people are talking about toxic work environment. True. So we need to be able to know like how are we going to navigate this mental health? Yeah. You said you've never felt so valued the way you were mm-hmm. when you were working remotely. That's like they must be doing something good. So how are. do we also influence our workplaces so that that people can feel valued so that there's just so many things you could do and you are good at it but where can people find you though? so <clears throat> you can find me on instagram yes. as what beyond the savanna and yes. please don't go for the fake one ilia beyond kuna beyond kuna kuna beyond ebu report the beyond Please. <laughs> ah, it's beyond the savanna um on tiktok on instagram it is lorraine what not underscore mm-hmm. slash, yo, slash. Yo. <laughs> lorraine yo. slash beyond the savanna okay and where else we are also on youtube beyond the savanna yes and basically all the platforms beyond the savanna good and i cannot wait to interact with you guys yes please you yeah. have to say idea to happen up pale to amoke pamoja like to ta amoka to amoka pamoja but above all thank you the social media handles guys are on your screen not the spelling for all of them they are on your screen go and interact with her me i found her on tiktok and i just stayed on her content for hours she's just she's not a gatekeeper so we appreciate having you here on the show but what parting shot though do you have for my people hmm. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> please uh, we have we have like for my followers we have mm. a unison that goes uh, when you're sending out applications please use an ATS friendly resume ATS is basically the system that most companies used used to sift through the applications and they used to um what is that word in apotea mm-hmm. Yeah, sift through the applications and shortlist. The word is shortlist. Yes. Yes. So ATS is applicant tracking system. And you cannot you cannot land a remote job without an ATS friendly resume because that system is the first hurdle that a CV is going to encounter before it eventually lands a recruiter's eye. Okay. Yes. Good. So, if you don't know how to create an ATS friendly resume, you can reach out to me. We do have a master class. I do that as well. I create a remotified ATS friendly resume to help you land a remote job. Unaona? Yes. Hivi ndio tungetoa bia. Sasa hivi applications na CV zetu za kawaida. Bon, eh, ni kuna picha kuna pio box pio box you know <laughs> people do people do, people do. and yeah. i'm like uh, yo yeah you see now also cvs is also another conversation we need to have on definitely, the show definitely definitely you know you know sometimes i've i've come to notice what happens to you easily is so complicated for another person <laughs> True. can be so complicated True. for mm. another person so uh, go guys go check her out i'm sending you to someone i really loved her energy is beautiful so msio go she has a master class if you need to even invest uh, pesa ndio upate your knowledge and it's, it's how much 3500 only 3500 yes. i will honestly sponsor one of you <laughs> like the best i can do to january bad unajua utko february 
sorry but still in January but I, I will honestly uh, sponsor one and then I'll challenge Lorraine to sponsor another one so two of you yeah. on the comment section let us know yes. to atoe hapo mm -hmm. so that they can get that they can enroll for that master class yeah. mimi ni share moja na wewe ni supportie moja and those are two si ni sam ama mungu unajisikia Ah, guys, it's a wrap. Thank you so much, Lorraine, for coming through. Thank it's you. It's been amazing. The more we keep having this conversation, I'm enlightened. I also didn't know anything about, you know, remote work. You were just looking at me like, oh, yeah. I know to come in the comment section. But, you know, I have to left, right, and center. But we appreciate you for coming. And I hope we can be able to tackle more conversations with you. Amazing. Thank yes. you so much. I'm so honored to yeah. be here. And like I said, I cannot wait to interact with Good. everyone. Yeah. And just to get more Africans, yes. more people of more people of color yes. in the remote work space. Yes, twenty parties or dollars. Cindy, yo, yes. to jikama ni yo pesa, my people. Let's go there. Like ni kumbuka. See yakuna charaisi. You gotta study for these things as well. But I hope you've enjoyed the conversation. I wanna see on the comment section what's your take home and what other topic do you want me to cover so that we are able to bring people expertise who are able to help us, you know, figure these things out. Si lazima ujue kila kitu, lakini jitume ku kujua kila jitume kujua kitu mpya per day learn something new per day you don't have to be perfect at it lakini continue building on your skills continue building on your knowledge no knowledge or skills ever goes to waste you you get what i'm saying if you have a laptop you have a wifi you have skills and you don't know where to look easy vitu utafuta wapi go check her out especially on her tiktok because that's where i found her that's where i will channel all of you all of you just go and check her out but you can always con connect with her on these other social media platforms platforms and also if you are watching us from abroad and you want to to me a person lnn has an impesa number here you can support us ndio hiyo hapo but also if you are looking into supporting your loved ones or sending them money for bills here and there ama waji enjoy use tap tap for me i've loved working with them this is our almost fifth or sixth month now no complaints so i'm happy that really satisfies my soul they have good rates for you and you get 10% cash back if you use my promo lean hapo and also just download it it's available on um Apple, you know, is on a Apple Store and a Play Store. You can be able to find it there. And of course, to say thank you to my team. Leo Tumefanya Kazi, I'm telling you. Thank you so much, Muga and Scholar, for always coming through our editors and the entire management at LNN. We do not take you for granted. Remember again to send me on the comment section your take home and also what other things do you need us to cover on the platform. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. At 10 a.m. Bye-bye.